Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today I'm going to do another club comparison, the Callaway Apex Pro 19 versus the Cobra King Tour MIM metal injection molded irons. So the first irons that have used the metal injection molding process. So what I have noticed is we've just recently re released a review on the Cobra King Tour irons. We had a little bit of feedback from customers saying these look very, very similar to the Callaway Apex Pro irons. So that got me thinking, why not do a comparison test between the two models? First thing I did notice is I took a look at the specs between each clubs. Every single club from four iron through all the way through to wedge, the loft is the exact same with these two models. So very, very similar with regards to loft. Now, when I'm looking down at the two of them, the first thing I do notice is the Callaway Apex Pro is still ever so slightly more on the compact side and maybe a little bit more on the or the rounded side. Looking down at the, uh, the King Tour iron, you're going to notice that it just looks like it's just a maybe ever so slightly squarer and maybe ever so slightly longer from kind of heel to toe. Now we're talking pretty minimal differences between the two of them there. And then the other thing you can notice is the King Tour, ever so slight, maybe thinner top line compared to the Apex Pro, which is maybe slightly larger. But they do look very similar looking down at them. Um, the one thing I did notice is I actually counted how many grooves were on the irons. The Callaway Apex Pro had 13 lines of grooves where the King Tour actually had 14. So I would say the King Tour looked a little bit more kind of like your old Nike clubs that have quite a few more grooves from the bottom to the top of the club. So that kind of really looked different looking down at it there as well at address. But very, very similar. Um, when I have done initial testing with Callaway Apex Pro, I did notice it is a little bit on the, the clickier side. So it sounds like it's really kind of powerful and coming off the club face. And that is related to the 360 face cup. So that generates quite a bit more ball speed and generates some distance in a tour performance iron. So definitely interesting to incorporate that face cup. Definitely on the, on the kind of lower spin side what I've seen with the Callaway Apex Pro in the past. The King Tour. So the MIM process. So this helps to create you know, a very, very precise shape essentially so really helps design the club and it also results in a very very pure soft feeling players iron so it does feel very very good off the club face so i think this is one of the better you know players irons that i have seen looking down at there as well um, speaking on feel mentioned the king tour feel is pretty good there as well the forge 1025 mild carbon steel body with the apex pro also feels pretty good but i do notice it just feels just a little bit on the more on the clickier side between the two so what we're going to do today is i'm going to hit 10 shots with each model got the kbs s taper 120 golf shaft in both models here both at standard length both at that at their standard lie setting here i'm excited to hit a few shots and take a look at the numbers and see what the differences tell us between these clubs. So let's get after it. The Callaway Apex Pro and Cobra King Tour comparison was a really interesting one. Knowing that the lofts are very, very similar between the two models, I was going to expect pretty similar numbers. Most numbers were quite similar. The one difference was the spin rate. So jumping over to spin, the Callaway Apex Pro 
spin rate was 5,300 RPMs on average. The Cobra King Tour was 50, just under 5,700 RPMs of spin on average. Now, very interesting to see that they were separated by about 400 RPMs of difference, even though the loft is the exact same on the two models. Uh, so touching on other numbers, so club speed. Club speed, 88 miles an hour and 88.4 miles an hour. So very, very similar of the 10 shots that I hit with, hit with each model. Full speed, Cobra King Tour 127.8, Callaway Apex Pro 127.5. I was swinging the club ever so slightly faster with the Cobra King Tour, and I was getting a little bit more bow speed because of that. But you'll notice the efficiency smash factor 145, 145 between the two of them. That's what I would expect with uh, regards to differences with regards to the loft on the clubs. Let's move over a little bit further here to the right. Interesting that the Callaway Apex Pro launched almost a degree higher, so 17.9 versus 17. It also did carry further. It did carry about two yards further than the Cobra King Tour. Now that is related to the spin rate on the Callaway Apex Pro being a little bit on the lower side. Less spin is going to equal more distance. So 187 carry where the Cobra King Tour was 185 carry. Uh, I want to check out the curve differences. So the curve numbers. Callaway Apex Pro, I was curving a little bit further to the left. So 22 feet of curve to the left where the Cobra King Tour was curving 13 feet to the left. So if we were going to kind of compare um, the dispersion patterns, you'll notice how the green dispersion pattern, that's the Callaway Apex Pro, there was one dot to the right of center. Everything else was just ever so slightly left of center uh, between zero and about 13 yards left was the range. Um, the Cobra King Tour on average was flying a lot straighter on average, which is why the curve average was less. So it was almost half with regards to curve. So it was flying a little bit straighter on average. So that is the red circle. So the red dis dispersion circle with the Cobra King Tour, maybe a little bit more consistent with regards to direction. Speaking of consistency with regards to the dispersion pattern, one thing we did notice is I didn't really get any jumpers or any flyers with the Cobra King Tour. And that's a little bit to do with a little bit more spin on the club. So you notice how the red circle is a little bit east to west, a little bit thinner as opposed to the Callaway Apex Pro that had some green dots that were definitely going further overall, but also going a little bit shorter as well. So regards to carry distance consistency, I would give the Cobra King Tour just a little bit of a thumbs up as opposed to the Callaway Apex Pro if you're looking to reduce spin and get that ball to go a little bit further, the Callaway Apex Pro was definitely your model. Now we're talking about spin comparisons between the two of them at, I think we were talking about 50, uh, 300 and 5,700 RPMs of spin. Keep in mind this is the exact same environment for the two of them, so difference is Cobra King Tour spins a little bit more than the Callaway Apex Pro does because I was hitting it high enough, my height being about 110 to 113 feet in the air, my landing angle was definitely steep enough at about 49.3 to 49.5 degrees to uh, very, very good landing angles. So stop and power was exceptionally good with both models there too. So definitely great models to compare. I hope you appreciate this content. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Click that subscribe button down the bottom there. Uh, always give us a thumbs up here as well if you can. We really appreciate all your feedback, and we've got plenty of great content coming your way. Thanks for watching.